It's cold email outreach, one of those things you wanna add into your marketing mix. Well, let's talk about the best practices on how to do that. Welcome to HubSpot Hacks, where we help you get more out of HubSpot. Cold email outreach is one of those things that requires the right tools, the right copy, and persistence in order to get it right. Not a lot of people like to be bothered in their inbox from companies they don't know, but if the right opportunity and the right context presents itself, there is a lot of success to be had in this area. Now, if you're using HubSpot, there's a tool called Sequences. We have a different video that we actually talk about how to set up sequences and how to get them going. But in this video, I wanna talk about how to do cold outreach in HubSpot. So cold outreach is going to require cold email templates and in, in fact HubSpot actually gives you some templates to start with to get the ball rolling. So I'm going to jump in and show you how to do that and give you some things to think about as you get started with that first cold email campaign. So I'm actually inside of sequences right now. Keep in mind that you only have access to sequences if you have sales starter or higher in terms of the subscription level of your HubSpot portal. So inside of this uh, uh, sequences area, I've got, again, I'm getting there from automation and sequences. So if I wanna create a sequence, what a sequence is, is going to be a series of emails that are designed to reach the recipient in a manner that they, um, you know, if they open it or if they reply to it, they can get unenrolled. Again, refer to that previous video that we have about email sequences in HubSpot to learn more about the, the ins and outs of that. However, if you're looking for cold email, um, again, best practices, you're gonna create a sequence. There's a lot of tools on the market that do this. We're talking about it here in HubSpot. So if I create a sequence and I start from scratch, um, again, I'm gonna be building all of that myself. Now, this is where the cold email templates come in. So if I wanna start with a pre-made sequence, think about all the different scenarios that we have here. So for instance, if I've got a trade show or a conference follow-up, that is an excellent opportunity to do a cold email outreach if you get the list of people who were at a conference and maybe they didn't stop by their booth but there's a reason for you to follow up or maybe it is a email that goes out to the attendees of a conference before the conference that's another opportunity to create interest and invite them to come to your booth uh, prior to the event so I'm gonna go ahead and use this as an example and so if you look at this here, you actually get cold email templates from HubSpot. A lot of these are based on best practices. So if you're looking to, again, add this into your marketing mix, one of the best things you can do is jump in here and look at some of the structure of these. So, you know, hey, so-and-so, I was looking, uh, it was great meeting you at this conference. As we discussed, here's a couple of solutions. Um, do you have time to connect? Now, one of the secrets inside of this type of strategy is don't rely solely on the templates inside of HubSpot. If you need a little bit more flair, some more inspiration, simply Google things like email swipe file for cold email outreach or best cold email outreach templates. You're gonna find a plethora of templates out on the web that you can test and, and uh, you know massage to your liking. The best cold email templates are gonna be short, concise, and pack a little bit of a hook in there so that someone replies thinking, you know, I do need what you're talking about. I'm not quite sure what that is. Don't give away the farm in your entire cold email outreach. So once you've selected these templates, again, you can create that sequence and uh, that's when you're loading it here in HubSpot and then you can add specific things that you might do in the meantime. So if, again, you're looking at just cold email outreach, one of the things you'll also want to do is clean your list. And I'm gonna show you a quick tool that we like um, to clean a list that you might be uh, loading into HubSpot and it's called uh, Never Bounce. So Neverbounce is a uh, email validation service. You're going to be uploading your list into Neverbounce and it's going to give you um, a little bit of a verification for you to clean that list. Again, in this case, you're most likely having a list that you curated on your own, a list that you got from a conference. Please don't buy lists. That's a very difficult practice and it can get you into a lot of trouble. Uh, specifically, a lot of that, that data may be outdated and then it may hurt your domain. So if you're doing cold email outreach, again, these sequences in HubSpot, uh, the templates that are in there, take those, study those, put them to work, and then as you have the performance of that sequence, you can go back and see what are people replying to, maybe test one sequence against the other to see which one is working better. It's all about getting that information back so you can make smarter decisions about your cold email outreach and uh, use that to grow your company. 
So that's it. Go ahead and give it a shot. Again, if you have any idea, or if you have any comments or questions about cold email outreach specifically or templates, cold email templates, uh, drop a comment below. We'll be sure and to respond to you. And if you want more tips, tricks, and how-tos, hit that subscribe button. We'll have a new video coming at you each week. We'll see you next time.